Good morning, Lake Mount. As always, it's great to be here with you this morning. And for those of you who are new or just visiting, welcome to Lake Mount Church of Christ. We're really glad that you are here. Uh, we'd encourage you to fill out one of our Connect cards, and you can find those at the back of your church bulletin if you picked one up on the way in. Or you can also take out your cell phone and go to our website, click on I'm New, and you'll find a digital Connect card that you can fill out and submit right there online. And then once you've done that, please be sure to stop by the welcome desk in the foyer and get your free gift just for visiting us today. Sunday School will resume next week, Sunday, July 29th at 9.30 a.m. And that means that all of our in-person services and classes are officially back in session. So we're very excited about that. Uh, we would remind you that there's still some safety precautions in place uh, to keep the building clean and some things we're encouraging all of you to do to keep everyone safe. And you can get a list of all those precautions on the website. Uh, just check out the reopening procedures page and you can see all that information there. This Wednesday, the 15th, is the final day to sign up for VBS if you've not done that yet. Uh, you can do that on the church website. Just head over to lakemountchurchofchrist.org slash VBS and you can get registered for that. Uh, and with all the events kind of starting to pile up on the calendar, these videos are getting a little long-winded. Uh, so rather than give details for specific events on the announcement videos, uh, from now on we'll be letting you know where you can find that information. Uh, so on that note, please check your bulletins each week. And we'll also be putting a stack of upcoming event sheets in the foyer each month, so feel free to grab one of those. And for those who are technologically inclined, uh, just head over to the website, look at the top of the screen, and you'll see a tab that says what's happening. Uh, you'll see a link to a calendar of all the upcoming events, and you'll also see the next steps page there. And if you scroll down to special events, you'll see pages for all the upcoming events where you can get information and sign up there. Uh, and if you need some help with that, you can just visit the kiosk in the foyer and someone will help you. And we'll be doing a weekly ministry spotlight from now on where we single out one of the great ministries here at Lake Mount and kind of let you know what they're all about and what they might need from you. Uh, this week, we're going to talk about the media team. These are the folks in the back who run the sound and video equipment. Uh, make sure the slides are on the screen during the worship service. They make sure the live streams are going out online and more. Uh, so this is really a great ministry for those who want to serve behind the scenes. Uh, so if you'd really like to help out with something in the church, but you're sort of mortified at the thought of being in the spotlight, this just might be the thing for you. Uh, so what the media team needs now is kind of more hands on deck. We're about to install a new multi-camera system so that we can put out higher quality videos and live streams. Uh, we need, so we need people to train on that equipment and learn how to run it or any of the other things that they're already doing back there. So if you've got an aptitude for technology and you'd like to learn some new things and serve in this ministry, uh, you can speak with me or to the nice people at the media desk in the back there, or you can head on over to the website and find the Get Connected link and fill out the contact form and we'll be in touch with you later in the week. We're also gonna start having a weekly call to prayer and there's so many things going on in the world and in this country right now, and we just wanna be effective as the church in all these situations. Uh, and that begins first and foremost by praying as a church uh, for God to use us to further his kingdom. So this week, I wanna challenge each and every one of us to pray at least once a day about the ongoing situation with COVID-19. Uh, now we can certainly pray for those who've been infected and we can pray for safety and those things, uh, but I'd really like us to go beyond that this week. So let's pray for patience with one another uh, and with the world as we interact with people who maybe see the situation differently than we do. Uh, let's pray for courage to continue trying to reach people for Christ and for the wisdom to do that effectively. Uh, and let's pray for God to just use us in this difficult time uh, to be salt and light in the world, to be a stabilizing presence in a time of fear and uncertainty, and to reflect the love of Christ when so many people are resorting to anger and hatred and frustration. Uh, so please pray for those things this week and then just stand back and watch what happens when God's people are united and praying for the advancement of his kingdom. And that's all the announcements we have for you this morning. So let's go ahead and get the worship service started. 